Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory, I give you honor. As I share your word, use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people, and may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy this Sunday afternoon. And I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a program of One Word Digital Media. The title of my message will be Grace and Truth. I'm sharing it today because it's Sunday, and I want to remind you all my listeners that Mondays I do not share because Sundays I share it so that if one did not go to church, we can have something we can share. My verses of reference will be John 1, 14 and John 8, 32. I will read in Jesus' name. 1, 14 says, And the word became fresh, and dwelt among us, and we, be, we beheld his glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Then John 8, 32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Grace. Because well, we are in the fifth month of May, I would like more, uh, to share a little bit on grace. If I can, this month, I will try to concentrate on grace, the unmerited favor of God. What you do not deserve, but you get it anyway, because our God is merciful. Because many times we think it's because we work hard or because we do many things, we serve God that, that we can attain righteousness or because of that. No, that is getting it all wrong. All we have, all we get is because God is gracious to us. And um, I don't advocate that we don't become people of excellence, of hard working. By the way, I am a full-time worker. But I have also come to realize that when we know the truth, the truth set us free. That's why I wanted to read that scripture. Even though I work, I don't live because of the money that I earn. I live because of the grace of God. Because many people earn money and they don't know where that money goes. You go to the store and pay bills and all that kind of things and you pay grocery, you talk about it. And you end up being frustrated. You know you can be a millionaire. You touch millionaires or you gain millionaires. But you have no peace. Because there is something hidden in the word of God. And this is the truth. And th that's why when you know something. When you know the truth. The truth makes you free. When you know it is not your work that make you rich. It is not your effort that make you who you are. You run to know the truth. And when you know that truth, you'll give glory and honor to your maker who give you the strength actually to make wealth. When you know the truth, when somebody tells you who do you think you are, you're not going to be irritated or take them, you know, and try to have a grudge. But you know, I know who I am. I like the sing Aung song. I know who I am. Knowing who you are is the key thing. And you can't know until you have, di you have known the, the truth that you are a, a, a masterpiece from your Father in heaven. When somebody look at you and wonder if anything can, good can come out from you. By the way, we go through stuff. Ask, I know if I ask you as my reasoner or my fear, there are times you have hard words and you wonder, really? And because we are human and our humanity is weak, sometimes you can he hear a word that is so discouraging and you kind of, you know, you change and it affects you. But when you know the truth, when you have read this truth, the Spirit of God who reminds us all things will remind you who you are, that you are a peculiar person, that you are fearful and wonderfully made. Lady, have you ever been told that you are not beautiful? That is a right from the enemy. You need to know. This manual, this manual all talk about you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. It's good also to go and look yourself in the mirror and say, girl, you're looking good. Or young man, you're looking good. Why? Because you are made in the image of God and you are fearfully and wonderfully created. Yes. When you know the truth... And somebody says you cannot make it in life, that you'll end up being a failure, you will know, no, I have been called to be above and not beneath. 
When somebody tells you that you are not educated enough and you cannot get that job, you'll know that you do not get a promotion because you are so much running, but you get it because God has appointed you to be in that position. And when the appointed time comes, you'll get it. Get me right. You have to go to school and work hard, do what you can do, and what you can't, you leave it to God. As a student, if you are told that you can't make it, when you get that paper, when you get when you enter into that computer, if you are doing the computerized uh, exams because they are the most these days are, they are the most uh, common. Before you start off, tell the Lord to take over so that He can bring to remembrance what you have not learned. And if you have not learned, the grace of God will be sufficient. Never leave one question unanswered because you don't know. Just pick one, and the Spirit of God will guide you to the right one. Ask me about it. I've been in school and some things I did by faith. Faith works. I don't know what you could be struggling with. Some people suffer depression just because some people talk bad about them. When they talk bad about them, they don't hold your future. Your destiny belongs to God and God has good news for you. This word is full of good news for you. Man has no control of your life when they tell you you are useless you know you are useful in the kingdom of god and there is something that cannot uh, be complete until you do it because god created you to be a participator not just to be a spectator and the lord will bless you as a child when you know the truth that obeying your parents will be, make you live well and longer on earth it will be to your blessing by the way when you obey your parents you do yourself a favor, you don't do them favor. Why? Because you are obeying the word of God. Hmm. Husbands, when you take your position, technically you are doing yourself a favor because you are obeying God. Did you know that men are supposed to honor their, their wives so that their prayers are not heeded? That's a huge thing from God. We can't live in ignorance and expect to get things well. When you honor your wife and love her, you are doing yourself a favor, not that wife a favor. Because you are obeying your creator and you live well. Your prayers are not going to be heeded. Many men live, they look like they are successful, but they are, they are suffering. They don't have the peace or the joy. Why? Because they have mispressed the priorities. When you honor God, when you fear God, when you obey God, you take your rightful position as a man, as a father, as a husband. And you woman, when you have that man, you know your position is to respect that man. When you respect that man, it will be automatic that he will love you. That does not be cheated by the rule of the Lord. The rule of the Lord does not determine our internal destiny. It is the word of God. By the way, I like to be a faithful or citizen. But that does not mean I be controlled by the rule of the Lord. No. The word, when the word of God controls me, when the word of God guides me, I'll automatically obey the rule of the Lord. Because I will know that the book of Romans 13 talks about authority, that there is no authority that comes to being, to power, without the, uh, the Lord approving it. You obey the government leaders because you know the constitution of the word of God says. If we want to live in a good way, even in political arena, it is only when we follow the word of God. We obey those who are in authority and the Lord will bless you. And until next time, I am your presenter, Florence Minor of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. You can continue listening to these messages by dialing 563-999-3909. You can also download One Word Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, go to your Play Store, download the app, One Word Digital Media. It is free, and the Lord will bless you. And until next time, this is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Let us pray. Today it's Sunday. I decided to do it different. The Lord bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. May my reason and my fear be able to be blessed as they know that because of the unmerited favor, we are who we are and we have reached where we have reached. And by knowing the truth of your word, will be able to live peacefully and be able to embrace your grace and truth in Jesus' name. Amen. You are there and you have never trusted the Lord. The truth is, all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. But because God specializes in restoration, he brought restoration by sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us. Are you there? 
would you like to say this prayer of repentance after me lord jesus i come before you i repent of my sin write my name in the book of life give me a desire to grow spiritually lead me to a church that teaches your word without compromise in jesus name amen if you have prayed that prayer god will bless you look for a body of believers in the church you'll go to and engage to be a blessing as you share and other people will be a blessing to you as they share Thank you. I love you and God loves you the most.